fire chief, I think, should be bumped up to two hundred thousand dollars, just because I like round numbers. What, what's the the clerk in Co uh, Coconut Creek? What do they make over there? Uh, it's one seventy five three zero two. I love competing with Coconut Creek, and the city clerk go to one seventy six. This was not vetted. This is like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. This was not discussed at our budget workshop. This was not discussed at our first budget meeting. And it wasn't even discussed today at the second budget meeting that we had before this. This is political posturing. He didn't show us any respect by putting this into the budget and having us discuss it. This was just thrown at us, and now he wants to make us look bad by possibly saying no. He thinks that he can just throw numbers around and get us to just say yes. We should have known this in advance. This shouldn't just be thrown at us. That shows no respect to any of us. In case you guys don't know me by now, I try to catch people off guard, and they actually do pretty well. <laughs> so. Item 6C. Item 6C is a resolution of the City of Margate, Florida, approving employment benefits and salaries for employees appointed by the City Commission, providing for amendment and execution of employment contracts, providing for an effective date. This resolution is before you for your consideration this evening. Okay, we have this in the backup. Um, what is the wish of the board? Motion to approve. Okay, I'm going to second it and uh, I'm going to open it up for discussion as well. Um, Looking at it, I think, I think it's great. I think you're all deservedly um, should get these uh, increases without a doubt. I think the fire chief, I think, should be bumped up to $200,000 just because I like round numbers. And as far as the city clerk, can I ask a question? What, what's the, the clerk in Co uh, Coconut Creek? What do they make over there? I don't have my backup with me. That's why I didn't bring that piece of paper. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, it's 175302. 175302? Yes. And the clerk there has been there, I think, about the same time as you. Safe to say. I love competing with Coconut Creek. <laughs> So I'd like to make an amendment that we move the fire chief up to an even $200,000, which would be a six, uh, a 3% increase where it's at on the chart and the city clerk go to 176. So that is my amendment. <laughs> The motion was made by Commissioner Caggiano. So, Commissioner, do you agree with that amendment? He's on Zoom. He's 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 here at the beginning of the. He knows we're on. What we're talking about. I'm assuming. Antonio, can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. I'm I'm almost back at City Hall, but in the meantime, I'm I'm here on Zoom. Um, I wasn't expecting the roundup on the numbers. I'm not necessarily opposed to that. Um, my only concern would be if we're going to round those numbers up to a, a, a larger amount than what was initially anticipated, then can we make it effective after? Well, I. I guess my concern is that they would still get a three or four percent cola on top of these raises. So being that where you're proposing to add a pretty substantial amount to the clerk and the fire chief's um, compensation package, I, I don't think that they should get the three percent on top of that come October first in two weeks. But otherwise, I'm fine with it. Okay. I'll agree with Antonio. Okay, so I guess, David, the, do I have to go back and clear up the motion? <clears throat> so I, I think we, what, what they're saying is to be effective um, after, well, no, it, it won't work. Well, I mean, just the, maybe, maybe just not apply the 3% COLA. Yeah, I think that's what you asked for for this year that you don't get the COLA. I, I wouldn't want to do that to them because then they would be the only two not receiving the COLA. So I don't, I don't think that's fair. Um, 
I mean, they, they but could they're getting receive... bumped up a pretty considerable amount. I, I agree, and I also <laughs> believe you know people should get paid what they're worth, and I think we we've, we've got some of the top end people in here in the city. Trust, I I, I do believe that. Um, um, any because any... as it was initially proposed, I was fine with the three percent them getting the raise that they asked for plus the three percent no problem but if we're going to bump them up to 200 and 175 then the three percent's a little you know i'm trying to just be a little fiscally conservative here um, if, if you if you provided for the increase the calling goes into effect october 1st correct correct so you know, whatever increase you're proposing here in theory could go into effect after October 1st, but it, I mean, it's, it's going to be captured within any increase that you provide. Like if you did it, if you did the 3% on October 1st. So let me ask you this, David, can we, can we go with the numbers that I had said, but actually give them the COLA on the percentage of the COLA on their, on, on their previous salary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm not a I'm not a finance guy, but okay. I think that COLA will be subsumed by any increase that you're proposing to give them. I mean, if you, if they get the three percent based upon their current salaries, I believe that by giving them the raise, that's already going to have that COLA included in it. So, so David, so then if they were to get the raise, and then you just add the difference, so that no, the nice. clerk gets one seventy five and the fire chief gets two hundred. He says, at the end of the day, right, Tony, um, we're going to take a not a not a break. We, we can still discuss this, but um, well, you lost a quorum. We lost a quorum. Anybody else want to say now that? you have a quorum? Now we have a quorum. <laughs> <laughs> let, the, let the record reflect that Commissioner Arcerio has entered the chambers and Commissioner Caggiano has left the chambers. Uh, all right, so Antonio, obviously you've heard what we're saying. We also have a uh, Commissioner Simone. She has her light lit. So you want to go now with Joanne, or you want to? Uh, I can wait around. Okay. Okay, so basically, um, there was an amendment made to the city clerk for 176,000 and the, the chief at 200,000. But I think your what you're questioning is that if that happens, then maybe you shouldn't get the cola. So I, I guess I can ask, Jen, would you be okay with that? Yeah. You'd be okay. Okay. Chief, would you be okay with that? Okay. Great. So, so then your request an amendment is to Commissioner Caggiano's motion. Commissioner Caggiano is here. And when he came back, we just asked the chief <clears throat> if he'd be okay with not receiving the COLA and, 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 and doing that, and also the city clerk, and they both said they'd be fine well, with it. Let me ask this question. Which one is financially beneficial to him? Well, I, the bump up or the 3%, why don't? It would be, it would be the bump up. The bump up. Well, if that's the case, as long as they're not gonna take the 3% on top of it, then I have no problem with that. Okay. I agree with Antonio about being officially responsible in that way. Okay. So you, so Commissioner Kajana, you agree is your motion to provide for the uh, adjustments to and the benefits as provided in the exhibit to the resolution with the provision that the fire chief's salary go to two hundred thousand and the city clerks would go to one hundred seventy six thousand. I'll go with that. Yes, okay. but they're going to forego to three percent October first. And foregoing 1st. the three percent or four percent, whatever the as long as they're good with that, I'm good with it. Okay, yep. Commissioner Simone. And it's your second still? You yes. agree with that? Okay. Yes. So you have a motion that's been amended with a second. Yeah, Commissioner Simon. Thank you. Let me tell you how this came up. Uh, last commission meeting, uh, when we gave the uh, new police chief his contract and hired him, um, to be our new police chief. The idea was thrown out by one commissioner uh, that the fire chief should also put in for a new contract and all the people that the city commission hires should also go ahead and throw in for new contracts and new raises. I think that uh, in the future, I think um, all the the employees that the commission hires, 
I think that your contracts should be looked at as well. So I'm going to ask you within the next month or two if you guys have any questions about your contracts to bring them back. Um, I don't want to throw this out there, but, you know, the chief is fire chief I'm talking about now. You know, he probably can use a, an increase. <laughs> I think you guys do a great job. We just talked about the morale of the city and you know, how things are going. So I have no problem looking at any of your guys' contract. So feel free to bring it back. This was not vetted. This is like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. It's not standard operating procedure, in my opinion. I don't know any other city who operates this way. We're this being was put on not, the spot. This was not discussed at our budget workshop. This was not discussed at our first budget meeting. And it wasn't even discussed today at the second budget meeting that we had before this. This completely came out of the clear blue sky, which only leads me to believe that this is political posturing. And I do not play those games. Giving 10% increase to employees without any evaluations, in my opinion, is wrong. These people are hired at the will of the commission and fired at the will of the commission. I believe that they should have annual contracts and they should be reviewed annually before making any raises. So I cannot, in all good consciousness, vote for this. Had this been brought up at our budget meeting and discussed then, then yes, I probably would have voted for it, but not the way that it's being done now. It's not that I don't want these employees to have uh, increases. I believe that they are a valued part of our city. Uh, Jennifer runs the city clerk's office like a well-oiled machine. I haven't heard any issues, any problems from the, from the fire department with Chief Lorenzo. I think he does a fantastic job, but I cannot go with the way that this is being presented. We don't have any information. We're giving a 10% raise and we don't have any information except for Jennifer gave us information on uh, the surrounding cities for the city clerks. We don't have any information on the assistant city manager. We don't have any information on the city manager. We don't have any information on surrounding <coughs> cities, what the uh, fire chief gets. And then on top of this, it's all bundled together when the CRA disbands the assistant city manager and the uh, city manager are also going to be putting in for a CRA stipend. So our city manager will be making close to $300,000 a year with that, with that stipend. So I, I'm sorry, I just, I can't uh, vote for this. I don't have any information on, I know that the city is looking into doing a comparative uh, salary on all the employees to make sure that we are competitive with neighboring cities, but we don't have that com uh, comparative salary right now. And I don't think that this should be done at this time. Next budget meeting, when we do the budget next year, then yes, let's bring it up when we have the salaries for everybody and everybody can be talked about, but not not the way that it's being done now. I, I'm sorry, I cannot vote for it. I think you guys deserve a raise, but not the way that this is being done. It has not been vetted. Commissioner Sarri. Yeah, thank you. Um, part of the reason why the city is running so well I think as a team, and I appreciate differences of opinion, I think we all collectively do a good job, but we couldn't do it without city staff. And we've got top talent here in the city, and we want to make sure that we retain employees, whether it's giving bonuses when we received ARPA money, whether it was adding parental leave which was something I had proposed that we were one of the first cities in the county to do. Margate's a place people want to work at. 
And if we don't remain competitive with other cities, we're going to see employees leave. So I'm all about paying equal to what cities of similar size um, are paying. In regards to the uh, city manager and assistant city manager, I know the city manager, I don't believe, is asking for an increase. What they are, uh, the, the assistant city manager is. Um, but as far as the CRA component, yes, the CRA will sunset, but the responsibilities are still going to be there. It's just going to be owned by the city. And we're going to be in the midst of a downtown development, three quarters of a billion dollars, 750 million, maybe a billion dollar project. So I think that the duties and responsibilities would still be there. And I think that if they didn't keep that stipend, I would probably bet that they would leave. And it would be hard to find someone to replace them at that current salary. We saw it with the police chief, not Chief Palma, but when we were initially looking outside, the consultant said that we needed to be around the $200,000 mark to bring people in. So I know that, I don't want to say we're underpaid, but it seems like you know we, we give an increase, another city gives an increase. Um, but right now, I think that these salaries fit the positions. So that's just my, my take on it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Caggiano. The mayor was talking about respect before, but he didn't show us any respect by putting this into the budget and having us discuss it. I agree with Commissioner Simone in that this was just thrown at us, and now he wants to make us look bad by possibly saying no. But we had no information, not one ounce of information, that he was going to do this prior to this. He thinks that he can just throw numbers around and get us to just say yes, even though we love the job that our people are doing. But Commissioner Simone is right. We should have known this in advance. This shouldn't just be thrown at us and say, let's give them more money. I just want to make a motion to give them more money. We had our paperwork and our, we had everything uh, in our backup of what was what, and I think I'm just going to change it. That shows no respect to any of us. I don't think you want to talk about respect, Anthony. Pay your bills. So number one, I'm not, I'm, I not asked, the one, I'm not the one who changed the numbers on a whim because you woke up this morning and said, let's change the numbers. That's not why when I changed we had, it. When we had backup, that wasn't that. If that's what you think, then that's fine. Two months ago, when we talked about the chief, prior to him being here, we were looking for a new chief to pay up to $225,000. We got the best thing we could have asked for. Put it in the budget. He, how do you expect me to put it in a budget when we can't vote on it? The numbers in the budget are movable. If I was to say, hey, let's put this in the budget, you'd have to vote on it anyway. You had two months to look at this. And I tried to appease some people up here by saying, you know what? Let's compare to other cities. So Commissioner Simone, you want to compare to other cities? He makes less than other cities. Chief makes less than other cities. Jennifer less, makes less than other cities. You want to talk about the quality of workers? They make less. I'm from the private sector. I know that if you want good employees and keep them, you pay them more. You do your homework and say, you know what? The guy's been doing a really good job for the last year. I'm going to bump him up. But to say I threw this at you, you yes. have two months to look at it. Did you meet we with had, the chief? We had the numbers that was, in the, that was in the backup. You decided that those numbers weren't the numbers you wanted to use. Just say it. Correct. Just say it. Okay. I just said okay. it. I said it when we okay. started, okay. Anthony. Notice how I didn't pick the assistant. I just picked the city clerk because she was making less than the guy over in Coconut Creek, which one of the commissioners says we need to do a salary comparison. The chief is making less than almost any other chief in the county. And I didn't think that the 190, whatever it was, was correct. I didn't come up with that number. So I brought it up tonight. So if he comes up with a number of 195 and I say, no, change it to 200, when am I supposed to say that? Put it in the backup. So guys, this did come up. And you got to understand, these people are all hired and fired by us. OK? So can you imagine somebody coming up and asking for a raise? Chief Lorenzo, I don't think he received a raise in five years. You know how uncomfortable it is to come up in front of this crowd, this commission, and basically get bombarded for what? 
for a couple thousand dollars, it's very hard for them to do that. I asked them two months ago, if anybody wants to change their pay, their pay or has any other questions, bring it up. You had plenty enough time. So I know what you're talking about, Deb. You're talking about tonight. Yes, I did bring it up tonight because I thought the city clerk was way too low. When I asked her about it, she did not want to put on that price. Because you know what? It's got to come before you guys. And if you think she's worth it, pay her what she's worth. But they All shouldn't be intimidated. Let us know they in shouldn't advance. be intimidated. You couldn't let us know in advance. I did 10 okay. minutes ago. Oh, yeah, that's a couple of minutes ago. Thank so, you. Anthony, if Thank you, you don't want to give her the raise, don't give her the raise. If you don't think she's worth that money, don't the, give her the money. And that's the whole thing. And that's the whole thing. That's correct. You make, a, you make your decision in the morning, and now you want to push us it to go. The and you want to And you want to push us to make it, whether we agree or not. You're the one who's <laughs> deciding that you want to change it. No, you you know what? Next time you cut in on me, whim. I'm going to stop you. On your whim. I'm talking. I talked to her a while ago and asked her to put the number higher. Maybe you she should didn't talk want to us. Because she was intimidated. She doesn't want to come up here and sit here and argue in front of us and basically say, you know what, guys? This is what I want, but I'm probably not going to get it. It's very hard for the people out there to come up before us. Why do you think Mr. Chief Lorenzo hasn't been up here in five years? You think he's happy being the lowest paid chief in Broward County? If that's what you think, then leave them at that. We got the top quality people here. We want to keep them here. Leave them here. This guy over here, he's going to be working with like almost a billion dollar budget when the downtown starts. This is the only place a government where you can have a $200 million budget and the people don't get no dividends, they don't get no perks, perks as much as a business owner. If these people were running a $200 million business, it's got to be making over $2 million a year. That's a fact. So when you have a successful business, you'll understand that. But if you don't want to pay the people what they're worth, that is fine. You were talking about how it was a million dollar business. Now it's down to how much? It, it is. doesn't sound successful to me. It's down to a couple hundred because I put my lot of my time into doing city work. That's what I do. Okay. And I pay my bills. All right. Commissioner Osario. I understand wanting to compare to other cities, and to some extent we should, but in fair, which I think that what we're recommending matches that, but in fairness, we're one of the few full service cities. A lot of people don't realize that. So when you start looking at these salary comparisons of cities e around equal plus or minus a few thousand people to ours, a lot of them make more money or the same, but they have got much less res responsibility. Some of them don't have CRAs. They have separate CRA directors that are making $100,000, $200,000 a year, and they're only getting a $47,000 a year uh, stipend for that. Some cities don't have water treatment plants. Some cities outsource their police and fire, and those city managers, those department heads are making a lot more than ours. So even when you look at comparisons to other cities, it's not apples to apples. We're a full service city and the responsibilities that they have is much greater than a lot of other city managers and a lot of other department heads. That's not the point. The point is we would have probably done, voted and given them whatever it was if we had, had, no, if we had known that in advance. We didn't know that he wanted to jump these prices, these numbers up until he decided to sit down and tell us. We deserve better. If we're gonna make rational decisions, we need to know. It should be in the backup. I have no problem giving Jennifer whatever she thinks that she deserves. I have no problem giving the chief with the award-winning fire department we have. And I tell Jennifer all the time that she's got an amazing department. And I, and I told her I had no problem with the numbers that I knew of. I had no problem with the numbers I knew of. What I have a problem with is someone waking up in the morning and decides he wants to bump people up and then and not give us the respect of telling us beforehand. Going back to your comment, Chief, would you mind coming up here? I no, hate doing I this. Chief, Chief, come up here. Don't, don't put him on the spot. It's his contract negotiation. Chief, you can answer from there. Do you think you're worth two hundred thousand dollars as a chief? This, don't do this, Chief. Answer the question, Chief. You don't deserve, Chief, you don't deserve this. Hi, good evening, He's everyone. On spot. Mayor, can I? You, can I jump in? Kale, I've talked to these people. It is very uncomfortable, and you can see it right now. Of course. But what he's saying is, 
He's. I didn't that's not what he wanted. That's not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what did you say? Back up a little. What I'm saying back is up. that we should have had these numbers in the backup. That's different from saying he doesn't want it. Anthony, when I talked to him and I talked oh, to her, when the you conversation to him. exactly. I don't yeah, know if you talked to him. Who make the decision? So let, let me. You can make the decision. There's a right. motion, and you can make the decision. Yeah. That's fine. And that's what you want to do: is put everybody on the spot to bully him to make it the way you want. It's not true. So but I you can look at it like that. Let me uh, jump in here. So th this is incredibly uncomfortable for everybody, right? For, for you all, yes. for, for the, the directors that are here. Um, staff and I that are on this list, you know, we, we put together what we felt is, is appropriate for us to come before you. Um, and, and that's what's before you. For one of you to make an amendment to that to increase it or decrease it, the only opportunity to do that is up on this dais. Otherwise, we're violating mm -hmm. sunshine. So while you feel surprised by that, it's, it's unfortunate. It's the only mechanism for that to happen. If, if one of you feel that what's being proposed is, is too low or too high, you have to do it up here. And it's going to be a surprise to each of you. I don't think it's intentional that way. Oh, I do. Um, but in, fa in fairness, when I was coming in the door, it was a motion and a second. I had suggested supporting this increase without the COLA. You said it was fine. Right. So I don't know how we got to this point to now where Nor do it's I. not okay. Nor do I. <clears throat> Public. Anyone like to come up? Yes. Oh, here we go. And this is public comment related to the matter that's currently pending. Uh -huh. Julie Vandermulen, Margate resident. <clears throat> this is absolute chaos, what's going on up here. It doesn't matter who is mad at who and who doesn't like who. So now if you, you're embarrassing the people that are getting the raise. You, you can't banter up there between the two of you because you're making the people that are supposed to be getting the raise and appraised, you are making them feel horrible. And it's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing to you, it's embarrassing to them, and it's embarrassing to us that is sitting here and having to listen to this. I'm in human resources, so where's your HR director, and why don't each one of you have what the people around them are earning? I don't understand that. If this city is a full service city, and if these people are as good and they are of what you are saying, then they deserve their raises. And I don't care how angry any one of you is up, up at, at, at each other, give them their raises. Just stop this bickering, because this is really a horrible thing to do to them. And if Tommy feels that it's time, if anybody feels it's time to bring up and give a raise, then you have to do it on here. You can't do it any place else. So because you have to do it up here, then if you're handling such a difficult situation, keep your anger and just try to be professional and stick to the numbers and the facts. It's that simple. And it doesn't matter that it's government or private industry. And if you want to throw some bonuses their way as well, and that's all I have to say, because your HR needs to be here and support you. I haven't heard or seen any of that support. Make them do their jobs too, please. Thank you. Margate resident. When I saw this on the agenda, I asked for some information and I received it. Um, to me, a 10% raise for people, and then 13 days later on October 1st, they're going to get another 3%. This is not what Margate's about. Okay, so you're talking about the assistant city manager making $197,648 on his salary with the 10%, plus the 42500 
on the CRA. That comes to $240,148. Now, we add the 3% on top of that with him because they want to merge it together, but yet our CRA will sunset at some time. So they should not be given that extra 42,000. But if we do that, now you're talking about $247,352 that our assistant city manager is gonna make, where our city manager makes $300,000 and has more on his shoulders than the assistant city manager does. Okay, the police chief, we just gave him his salary. Now we're gonna raise him another 10%, which is gonna bring him to 205,000. No, that's the, it, it's the uh, fire chief. The police chief's already done. So the, fire, um, the police chief isn't in this. Well, it states here, and this is an email that was sent to me and it was sent to somebody by Kale Curtis. So if our city manager is putting in the police chief here, then do we really need to pay him 300,000 if he can't even do it right to begin with? But it's, okay, it's, wait it's a minute, right. wait a minute. It's 205 in the current and it's 205 in the proposed. Okay, then he's There's gonna no go to 211 on the 3% and come October 1st. So I don't think this is right. If you're gonna give them a raise, give it to them now, but they do not get the extra 3%. Because now you're talking about 3% or 13%. That means that come time for the um, benefit package, the segment pay or whatever it's called, you're going up another 13% on that, the pension. And then, now I hear that people want, they have eight weeks that they get paid when they leave, but now they wanna go up to 20 weeks when the outgoing chief of police only got 10 weeks. Sorry, don't do this. Give them the raise that they deserve and not the extra 3%. Right. I'm gonna make this go broke. Is there anybody else? No? Do you want to reread this? You want me to? No, but if no, <laughs> just, I, think, I think the record's pretty clear what the motion is. Okay. All right, Jen, call the roll. Commissioner Caggiano? Yes. Commissioner Simone? No. Commissioner Serio? Yes. Mayor Rosano? Yes. Okay. Motion passes. Okay.